morning everyone, Tina Steyer here at Rabbit Steyer booth and here is the new pistol. I'm finally allowed to talk about it so I figured I'd show everybody. This is what it's going to be, the new A2. The uh, did out interchangeable back straps on the sides, on the rear. They still kept with the slide serrations but uh, some unique features. They did add some textile grip uh, here on the side of the frame. It is on both sides. They also changed the serial number location from the bottom of the polymer Picatinny rail to the side, so now it is a part of the chassis. The controls are real good and they've improved the grip. So everybody that was asking about uh, improved grip texture, uh, no more need for grip tape. They recut all into the teardrop mag uh, wells, side of the trigger guard, everything. Uh, still kept with the trapezoidal sights. Uh, they are offering in the L and M. And I'm looking here, I do not see a C, a C model yet. But M and L, they kept the weight, they went to a full 1913 Picatinny rail. Still running a guide, uh, polymer guide rod. But one of the main features, they now have a flared magwell. So everybody that was asking for it, the new gun is going to have a flared magwell. It has three of the different uh, grip textures that can be expanded for width and the depth. Magazines look like they have a new floor plate. These are 17 round mags. But uh, the biggest improvement, which you guys are really going to notice, which I'm going to enjoy very, very much, is the new grip. Uh, I mean, you put it in, and it just grips and is quite well. So this here is the new pistol. Positively. The trigger is still a Steyr L model trigger. Uh, I'll play with it here. See what it is. The uh, the trigger pull got good spring take up. The safety's a little bit more pronounced, but it is there, and it is more audible. Let's see what the reset sounds like. Still very quiet reset. So everybody that's asking about reset to be more audible, uh, it's going to be the same as the A1 variant. But your trigger pull is it does have a much uh, louder click and pull to it. Yes, sir. So there's this one. They have a few different sizes here that's on the table. This one has a much larger pump swell in the side. They have a very thin one, and it looks like they have three different variants and sizes of it. So, that is the new pistol. It is out in here. So, we're going to keep playing and checking it out. So, we are live uh, shooting to the Steyr booth. They also have the new mono block behind me and a few of the other new rifles and we'll get some film and see about walking around and checking it out like so let's go for a tour This one here actually has the thin grip, so I'll show you the back side. You guys can see how narrow it is. It is the same as the factory uh, A1 grip side. There is the older for a size comparison. So, obviously more texture. Something to do with the size. Okay, Alright, we'll move around. I'll show you all the new monoblock. So that's 
skeleton, it's a Steyr skeleton. I've got two of these. Here's the new carbon that is out. And this is their brand new uh, hunting rifle. This is the next step over the THB. And the whole stock, I'm hoping you guys can see it, but the whole stock is carbon fiber with a beautiful inlay. And still comes with a very, very pronounced hammer forged barrel. Now, in the last video, sorry guys, the, the service here is a little spotty, so if it cut out and there's gonna be a bunch of live videos, I do apologize. I'm trying to do the best with the way with a steel building. The new Zephyr 2 uh, has just won the Go uh, Golden Bullseye Award from NRA and Sport Classic Award. So this is their the newest one uh, for youth shooters. It's a very, very nice 22. But uh, that's the new Zephyr 2. So they're supposed to be announcing a whole bunch of different awards that they've won with this rifle. All right, guys, here is the new McMillan uh, stocks on the uh, THBs. Now, if you saw my last video, the THB, the heavy barrel, this is the same, same gun that I had but this is the new McMillan stock. And for the 6.5 Creamor guys, here is the new scout rifle. Well, let's tour around and see what else we can come into. We're going to walk around and move. They're starting to pick up and do some business, so let somebody else get some filming done. I'll try to take you guys over to the Horns Defense booth and uh, we'll see what they're doing. See if I can get them on an interview. Good morning, gentlemen. Can I bug one of you guys to tell me what four of us has come out with for the AUG for this season? I was say, we're live on fa on uh, YouTube. We're filming and letting everybody for the Steyer Club and uh, T and Steyer, you know, see what's going on. So, Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Jordan from Forest Defense. Nice to meet you. You guys say? <laughs> we have uh, all the rate, rate parts in the uh, new in uh, Hamburg. Uh, so far, they are available only in Kimo. Yep. All right. Uh, we have a new charging handle. The new charging handle? Charging handle, which will be, uh, you can uh, un uh, screw this, uh, this part here, and then you can uh, change the angle, uh, depending on if you have an uptake of the, the screw that you want to protect your fingers from, then you can uh, move it uh, to the outer side, and it will be, uh, it can move here in the forward uh, position, but when you pull it back, it, uh, it's locked, so that it can, it can flip over, and you have a tight grip on it uh, all the way to the back. Ah, so no more uh, chewed up knuckles. <laughs> no more chewed up knuckles. <laughs> uh, so what else is new? Well, we have this uh, in point adapter. Uh, you have here a TA33 uh, from Trichicon, ACOT, and an aim point micro. And with this uh, part of flat dark earth, uh, this is from us. Uh, you can mount it uh, very, uh, very low down, um, very close to the barrel. And still have two optics, uh, three uh, uh, optics, and uh, just a, a red dot on, on top of it. Keeping your sight alignment to borax, that's all as low as possible. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with your case deflectors and everything. Are there any improvements, or is it still the no, original? We, just, uh, we started out with just the standard uh, right handed case deflector, and now you can uh, get it for a left handed version and the, the NATO stock as well. Oh, so great. It, it does the same thing, uh, but uh, for uh, it's uh, three different versions. Okay. Um, so you have that. I know you did the new front rails uh, or the, exactly. the new fork. This is a M look available uh, soon too. 
Um, this is uh, mounted instead of the uh, standard collapsible floor grips. Oh, um, great. It's just so that you can mount the uh, ticket in rails on it or directly mount uh, like here this foregrip on it. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, where you want your foregrip depending on the length of your arm or if you are wearing a brake carrier. Um, you can mount laser lights. Uh, okay. Like we have here. So uh, pretty much everything that's uh, key mode or m lock or Picatinny uh, mountable you can put here. You can uh, put a bipod uh, in front of your forefront if you like and uh, it's just works very smoothly. Huh. Yeah, I see you have this one here set up that way. That's a lot nicer than the just the straight fold down front. It makes it a little bit, a little bit more usable. Just more options, yeah. And, uh, and uh, as an alternative, you have your hand guard. So a lot, a lot of people like to put uh, the come right uh, there, uh, yes. guard to the front. Not realize they get their hand into the gas port. <laughs> yeah, we uh, here on the right hand side uh, above the, the gas tube. We have a little heat shield so that you uh, can shoot it even without gloves. Uh, your fingers won't burn if you hold it here. Oh. And uh, the gas is deflected forward so you don't get it back to your face. Oh, great. So it's still forward, forward deflection. Forward deflection. And uh, we will have this in uh, Amlog as well. Uh, this is a free folding barrel in this because the, the, the hand guard is mounted to the uh, receiver rail. Oh, the okay. receiver rail is uh, mounted to the housing, so uh, nothing touches the barrel in this setup. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we have uh, the anti rotation bolt uh, works especially well. Oh, okay. <laughs> When you uh, use a sling like this, uh, this is a, you don't want to have get it twisted up. So we have uh, anti rotation device built in, uh, which doesn't uh, twist your sling uh, in combination with the front end, uh, with, which is also uh, anti rotation. Uh, you will only have a straight a straight sling and uh, won't get it twisted up. And that the, this uh, is a part of your new long rail system, correct? This one is integrated, integrated. In, the, in the rail, and this one you just replaced the original pin with uh, the, with ours, and then you're good to go. Is the rear of the pin still set up and, and cut designed to adjust your gas block? Uh, to adjust the gas block? If, well, is, is this re is this isn't removable like the original one, like on a quick release to to access the trigger pack? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, if you remove it, you can access the trigger. Okay, pack. and then you can still use it to adjust the gas block, uh, uh, so you don't jam your finger into the uh, the port, the gas port in the front. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Basically, it's the same thing. Just uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't rotate. Doesn't rotate. Okay. That's been a big thing for me uh, with my AUG is 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 the rotation. It, it gets annoying after a while. It keeps keeps turning on me. So yeah, I, under, I understand that's something I'll be upgrading to shortly. Uh, almost forgot uh, we enhanced the uh, mag release button. No. Uh, it's now aluminum, uh, like all the the other parts, and it's uh, wider and it's outward shaped. So it's uh, and you don't have to push it all the way in. Oh, so great. it's uh, the access is easier, and especially if it's cold and wet and you're wearing uh, gloves or whatever, then it's uh, it's easier to uh, to uh, oh. release them in with this one. That'll work. Well, I thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. For that, we'll take we'll take some more pictures. Move around. Sure. I do yeah. apologize, left-handed. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It's gonna be back. Say hi to YouTube. Howdy, duty. <laughs> We're moving around. We're gonna yeah. go. We're gonna go over here and see if we can uh, find the the new SSG A1. Correct. The A1, the 08 A1's right here. The 08 M1, M1. is on that tripod or tripod. I'm gonna have to get uh, used to the difference in the A1 to yes. the M1. So it's M1. All right, everybody. Well, let's try to get this one again. This is the new SSG A1. Uh, if you caught the last part of the video, I think we lost service, but uh, we'll get back into shooting and showing you what this one is. Uh, we'll be happy to announce, I believe we're gonna be picking one of these up come July or August. So this here is the new one, and it is in 308 and 338, and has the quick interchangeable barrel system.
thank you. All right, everybody. Let's check out some new the new AUGs. All right, guys. I am happy now for the AUG people. I got it direct from the CFO. The 300 blackout version is coming. It is not here at the SHOT Show. Uh, it is something they are working on. They're hoping this year. Uh, they have the design. They have the gun worked out. They are just gearing the manufacturing for US. So anyone that is doing 300 blackout that has been wanting the new the new rifle or barrel, whatever, however they're gonna release it, they're going to try for later this year is, is the hope, but uh, it's just in setup for the manufacturing. So it is coming, and I got that directly this morning from our nine o'clock meeting. So you just have to be a little bit more patient with the with the timing for letting them get it out.